Well, here's how the dyno works around here. It's a Stuska SX211. And I'll show you what Chuck is gonna do here. First, he's gonna click on any key to collect the data. So he's already got that up. And he'll start raising the throttle up and the dyno will start grabbing a hold of it. And then we do a sweep uh, up test. So he'll let the dyno go. Here's the dyno grabbing a hold of the engine. Okay, so when our gauge turned red, that's the top of our sweep, and that's the end of the data collecting. And now he will bring up a report and this engine is eh, it's into it's about 13th or 14th pole so it's starting to settle out and it is what it is down there our red thing is our correction fact factor from our weather station so you can see what the humidity the barometric pressure and the temperature is today here in the beautiful state of Colorado some people call it the People's Republic of Colorado, and they may not be wrong. <coughs> okay, so then it generates a report like this, and it's got all kinds of neat data that I don't know anything about, uh, but this is the important one. And this shows all the successive polls, and you can see down there where his pointer is, is it is starting to shake out, and it's about what it's gonna be. All the polls are kind of right together, there it is in graph form. And now this engine is what it's gonna be. Um, the numbers are probably a little bit optimistic because our uh, weather station today uh, seems to be a little bit optimistic at that correction factor. It's usually about 130 to 133%. So anyways, that's how dyno works around here. <laughs>